Namaskaram. Hello friends, my name is Dinu Varghese. I'm a health educator and a social worker. Today we are going to discuss about a very important trace mineral, also a dietary plant that will definitely help you to relieve pain caused by arthritis, any sort of arthritis, osteoporosis or some other conditions like that. It is also important to know about this because it is scientifically proven and has no side effects. Uh, before I start the actual part, I will discuss a few more things. If you have a habit of consuming alcohol, it should be stopped because uh, alcohol consumption decreases uh, our calcium absorption. That's the most important part. Secondly, a sound sleep is important. Regular exercises, good eating habits, most importantly, stress management because stress, chronic stress increases uh, chances of having inflammation within our body. Second, vitamin D, a key part in having a well-balanced, actively functioning immune system. A study shows that if you have huge spikes in the blood glucose level, that also increases possibilities of having inflammations. I have put a link down below, chat, so that you can get into the literature and have a self-convincing idea about that. We'll get into the actual part of the video. A study, a double-blinded placebo-controlled study was conducted among some people and the results were amazing because among all those who participated they had given a trace mineral and 71 percent of the total people had a great relief from pain caused by these previously mentioned conditions and amazingly they had no side effects we are talking about a trace mineral called boron what is boron boron is a trace mineral and a trace mineral is a mineral that is only required in small quantities like selenium and iodine. Uh, second to that, it is an enzyme cofactor. What is an enzyme cofactor? It specifically helps in making certain things like cortisol and some other steroid hormones. See, when a person is having rheumatoid arthritis, he will go to a hospital to consult a doctor. And what usually doctors prescribe, it's prednisone. Prednisone is nothing but cortisol itself. So your body itself has a self-fighting nature to produce certain anti-inflammatory hormones like cortisol if you have enough boron in the body. So that is an amazing part, right? When women are in their postmenopausal period, there will be imbalances in the hormone and which will directly affect the health of the bone because calcium absorption will be compromised. But when there is adequate amount of boron in the body, that will help to enhance the production of estrogen and testosterone and definitely it will boost health of the bone. And uh, boron is an integral part in vitamin D metabolism. It helps people, those who are having erectile dysfunction because uh, it, 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 as we already mentioned, that it enhances testosterone. It's a natural antimicrobial and it's a natural antibiotic. So it itself creates a body, a fully functioning body that is always ready to fight any sort of inflammation. Finally, it is very important in calcium absorption and magnesium absorption. It is easily accessible. You can purchase it online and 6 mg per day would be fine. And if you have any queries or doubts regarding this, you can ask uh, in the comment box below or I have given my Facebook address. You can click it below and directly come to my page and ask and clarify any sort of uh, doubts related to these things. Now we move on to the dietary plan. Talking about the diet, it is very important to include highly anti-inflammatory compounds. And the first thing in the line is omega-3. Omega-3 is highly anti-inflammatory. Not only it provides an anti-inflammatory effect, but also helps to have or improved functioning of the cardiac system and brain functioning. And what all things can provide you enough omega-3? And the things in the list includes uh, fatty fishes like salmon, mackerel, uh, sardine, tuna and so on, nuts like almond, hazelnut, walnut etc and flaxseed of course is a rich source of omega 3. Talking about turmeric and black pepper is the next thing because turmeric and black pepper combination is highly anti-inflammatory. How do I do it? I, do, I take two, one to two pinches of turmeric and seven whole black peppers 
one to two pinches of either fennel or cumin and add some oil and have it because as per the classical text this is kaffa pithena rukchoshna that is a quality of turmeric which will create a drying heating effect when you are having in large quantities there is a possibility of overwhelming the liver especially when you add pepper the piperin compound in pepper and the curcumin they work together the bio availability also increases so if you are having it in large quantities the side effects are more so you should keep it in mind next thing is ginger ginger tea is very good good because it is highly anti inflammatory the ginger oil compound in it spinach the camphor oil compound is anti inflammatory uh, garlic is very good that is highly anti inflammatory grapes are very good also cherries and broccoli broccoli is highly anti inflammatory which contains natural calcium will definitely help you to improve boost up your bone health most important you should add high fiber diet because when you add high fiber diet the c reactive protein rate will be down that is usually seen in inflammation the esr will be high the c reactive protein will be high so when you have beans in malayalam we have achinga payar and all these things when you have it the c reactive protein rate will come down and the inflammation also will come down and talking about certain things that has to be um, taken off from your diet pattern first thing is sugar definitely it creates an inflammation refined carbs red meat corn oil trans fat almost all the bakery products dairy products milk if you have a2 milk that is okay otherwise you can have yogurt buttermilk etc in certain people uh, wheat increases inflammation so if you wanted to give it a try to avoid wheat from your diet that is also good and trans fat as as i told avoid fast food and uh, processed food from your diet that will definitely help you to relieve from inflammations and mostly bakery products if you have a habit of having grilled chicken which will definitely end up in producing glycated end products uh, this advanced uh, glycated end product will increase inflammation in your body and most importantly as i told you in the initial uh, stages of the video that you should have a very controlled stress management also vitamin d both of these are very vital in fighting against inflammation uh i hope you got some points regarding how to fight against inflammations in general and how to relieve pain uh, that is caused by rheumatoid arthritis or some other uh, physiological conditions i i believe that we will meet again with another uh, episode with which i will try to give you some of the information that will be really helpful in uh, having a healthy life thank you so much